He says, hello, my fellow Redditors. So let's begin in the beginning. Me, a 30-year-old male, and my girl, a 25-year-old female, have been together for seven years and lived together for three years now. Okay, so he was 23 and she was 18 when they started living together, when they started the relationship and living together for three years. Okay. We both work very hard and my girl is is, heads, is uh, set in her second year for her PhD. The past few months, I noticed some changes in her behavior. She comes home late a lot, blaming her deadlines, and her libido went from high to almost non-existent. Oh, so she's around you less, coming home late, and all of a sudden, no, no, no nookie. Don't want to hook up anymore. Hmm. At first, I didn't think anything about it. I just thought she was stressed from her PhD and a little overworked. Until a month ago. My boss asked me to start a project in England, we live in the Netherlands, and it would take about four to six months. Well, that's quite a request. In the past, when I had projects abroad, my girl would always be opposed to me going, not wanting to miss me for that long. This time, however, she kind of encouraged me to go, saying it's a good experience. Gee, what does that say? When I asked her about the sudden change of attitude towards me, working abroad, she just said it's because she's older and thinks differently, more mature about it. Nope. Any you guys been in relationships for a long time, if you're older, if your wife truly loves you or your girlfriend truly loves you, she doesn't want you to go away four to six months. She misses you. And not to mention she wants to feel safe. But but now, coming home late all the time, low libido, and, uh, oh, go have a good time in England. Yeah, what does that say? So I accepted to work there, but somehow my gut feeling was telling me something was off. So I know it was wrong, but just to be sure, I grabbed my girlfriend her phone during a shower to look and see if I could find anything suspicious. Luckily, I couldn't, so I let it go. Then I somehow stumbled on an advertisement on the internet about a secret spy camera. Against all my principles, I decided to buy one, disguise it as a smoke detector, and replace it for the old one in our bedroom. It looked almost the same as she didn't notice the change. It has an IP camera, and I can see live footage remotely, and can even get a notification on my phone where when there is motion holy crap man how the world has changed with technology a little over a week ago i went to england for my project and here is the bad part last saturday in the early evening i got a notification from the motion sensor of the camera i opened the app and there it was her and a guy kissing on our bed it's bad enough she does that but in your own home in your own bed she's a piece of garbage it quickly escalated to foreplay and then SCX. Somehow I managed to watch the whole thing. I felt a thousand emotions at once. I felt mad. I felt sad, etc. You know, a lot of guys say, oh, I could have watched that. But I think a lot of guys couldn't watch that at that point, you know. Well, there you go. There's smoke, there's fire. Again, you all heard the, the red flags you mentioned. She's done. Now I don't know what to do. If I confront her, I have to confess about the camera. And she's never forgiven me for that. Smack. Um, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit about all that? She's fucking another guy. Obviously, it's been going on for a while now. Who cares if she gets mad at you and will never forgive you for the, the spy cam or going through her phone? Who cares? However, her lies are so hurtful to me. On the other hand, I really don't want to lose her. In some way, I understand she's tempted to experiment with other guys because it was her first seven years ago. Before I knew this, I thought it, I was her only one. Smack! What do you mean you don't want to lose her and somehow understand? What the fuck's the matter with you? Please, I'd like to hear advice for this issue. I really don't know what to do. The guy's been sleeping in my bed with my girl for every night since Saturday. Please excuse my English. It's not my native language. Well, clearly, please excuse the fact that your brains have melted here. What do you mean you feel you understand or you, you, you wanna, you're you going to miss her or some bullshit like that. You can't be with someone like this. She's not going to change. It's over. End it with her. Now I get seven years of your life with her. That's a big chunk of your life. But how long do you think this has been going on? I don't care what her fucking reasons are. Get rid of her. Or you don't have any reason to complain when she keeps doing what she's doing. And she will. You take her. You keep up with her. He also says, as a side note, I see a lot of you calling me pathetic for me considering to forgive her. Well, because you are pathetic. And me being afraid to lose her. Let me elaborate a few things. Like I said, I've been together for seven years. She's the first girl I ever dated that I didn't get bored off within a few months. Actually, up until this point, I still had the same feelings for her I had in the beginning. So in other words, you're more into the relationship than she is. 
my friend, women will stay with a guy they're not in love with because he can provide a nice life or, you know, he's a sure thing to propose to her, but have her fun on the side. It happens all the time. Your girlfriend's no different. In those seven years, she supported me in many ways, especially when I lost my father and got chronically ill for five years. And he got chronically ill for five years. Although she is crazy fucking hot, like way out of my league hot. There you go. That's what it's all about. She's a hottie. I don't care that she supported you when your dad got sick five years earlier. Guess what? That's what a good girlfriend does. <clears throat> no strings attached. Uh, uh, you can't justify. You just don't want to... I think this guy just doesn't want to accept that he fell for someone that obviously is a piece of garbage. It's easier for him to make excuses and say, maybe I did something wrong here. No, she's just a piece of shit. And don't forget we built a life together for seven years. With seven years of shared memories and building our lives around the plan of being together forever. Bro, that's the point. You're one of, you want to be with her forever. She doesn't care about you. And she knows this. You're more into the relationship than she is. Therefore, she has the power. I know how bad this is. I'm definitely going to confront her today. But please understand my doubts if dumping her is the best way forward. Smack! Take your head out of your ass, bonehead. Now to the update. And now he'll redeem himself. He says, hello, this is an update my previous post. You can read the backstory there. So today I called my girlfriend to confront her. I told her I knew she was cheating, and I didn't elaborate on how I knew. She was silent for a bit, and then started crying uncontrollably. Hobag Handbook Chapter 2. I told her I can't speak with her if she just plays the victim, and that I want her to be out of the house and, and in my life before I get back to England. Then I hung up on her. There you go. So clearly the Redditor has got to his head. Get out of the house and be out of here my life before I get back to England. Back from England. I put away my phone and she kept calling me and I didn't answer. An hour later I decided to pick up and wanted more answers. She was more calm at this time and was apologetic. I asked her for the truth. I asked her when this started. Brother, there is no way in God's green earth that you're going to get the full truth from her. She confessed they met at work and that he is a postdoc that she works closely with. And that the first time they had sex, it was on, on a congress in Barcelona they both attended. They got tipsy after the first day of that congress, and he walked her to the hotel room, and things escalated from there. That's all I need to know. But it gets worse. This congress was ten effing months ago. So obviously I got really mad about it. I asked her why she did it, if she loved it. Why she lied for such a long time and never had the decency to come play with me in the past ten months. I don't know, because she's a piece of shit, because she's not who you thought she was, ding, ding, ding. And I might, do, I might add doing this in your bed. She pleaded that she didn't love him, and it was just a physical relationship. Oh, okay, that makes it all better. Start, uh, started out of curiosity, how it would be to have sex with someone different than me. She said that he has a wife and kids, and she had me. So he really is a piece of shit. Uh, they never planned to be anything more than SCX, and according to her, it isn't. She still only loves me. Yeah, I can tell through your actions just how much you love me by cheating on me for all this time and doing this in my bed. Her plea didn't help. I could definitely uh, not get over the fact that it's been going on for over 10 months already. I asked her if she was keeping any other secrets from me, and she confessed she also had SCX with a different guy three months ago. A guy she met while out with her friends, and this was a one-night stand. Okay, out with her friends, girls' night. There you go. Once a cheater, always a cheater. This has become a habit to her. Does she sound so great to you now? Miss stuck by your side when your dad was sick? I sighed and heard her cry again. I told her I never expected to throw a seven years of my life to a SLUT. Ooh. And repeated, I want her out of my house and life before I get back. And I don't want to see her speak to her again. I hung up and blocked her. He goes, man, fuck this shit. I really thought I had a decent girl all this time. Well, man, I'm sorry you didn't. But you know what? A lot of guys, as I'm sure he's aware at this point, studying Reddit, have been in this situation. You're not alone. And you can get past this. But remember, guys, seven years is a long chunk of your life. Because he started with her, I think. How the fuck old is he again? He is 30. So from 23 to 30, that's a long time. And he ain't going to get over this overnight. He'll be angry. He'll be hurt. But his emotions are going to be a roller coaster. But he has to take it one day at a time. But her getting the fuck out of there is key. But I wouldn't be surprised if she left a tornado in his apartment or home before she leaves 
And I'd be very careful. Now he needs to control the narrative. He needs to tell his pa family, her family, mutual friends, before she paints him with the picture as the bad guy and uses defamation against him. Putting stuff on social media. Got to be prepared for everything. But anyhow, you know, there you go. Good job on how he handled it. I think that was pretty smart with the camera. But holy crap, you heard the end of his first, the first part of the story. He was thinking about giving him another chance because he was just, he was that guy. But fortunately, Reddit woke him up and now he's handling it accordingly.